Hello, look at this cat. Hey, man, I'm coming to a city near you. What do we got? We got Burbank, California, Flappers, February 25th. Then I'm in Plano, Texas, March 9th through 12th. And then March 29th, I am in San Diego again. April 5th, Ontario Improv. And uh, tickets all at CraigConit.com. Hey, I sold four shows out. You'll, I talk about it on this pod. I see you. I love you. Thanks for showing up to my shows. It's fantastic. We out here winning. We saving some junkies and weirdos, and uh, and not all of them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I just love you all. Thank you so much. Tune into this podcast. Me and my kid cat and Christopher Lunn on the ones and twos. God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you. Oh, hang on. How we looking? We looking good? I didn't wash my booty today, <laughs> but I washed it yesterday. Wash my booty today, and I'll pay you Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit i'm delirious this is gonna be a good one yeah we're gonna get silly i'm gonna name my son moccasin for no goddamn reason at all <laughs> how's that sound oh you got a tattoo what's the meaning who gives a shit who gives a shit wow <laughs> i don't know i'm on one today i got up what time did i get up 6 a.m Ugh. 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 Okay, I got notes. I got so many notes. Where do I begin? Oh, Wakanda forever. That's a note. I watch Wakanda on the plane. It's great. Yeah. Why they got? Why they got? Blacks versus Mexicans, huh? <laughs> they try trying to start a race war. Is all I saw there. Little. You got the whites, the browns, and the blacks. Am I allowed to say that? That sounds bad. I didn't start the war. You talk to Wakanda. <laughs> Yeah, that shit was trippy. I was like, why they got black people against brown people? If only knew if they united, they could kill Whitey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm getting canceled today. It's over. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But it was weird. I was like, why? They, why is it, what's it? This is a race war is what this is. <laughs> That's my people. I'm going with the browns. I know I look white. <laughs> They'll be like, race trader. I'll be like, I'm brown. I can't speak Spanish, but boy, them tacos. I tell you what. <laughs> you take your turkey sandwich, you get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> These are jokes, people. The, the comedian is saying racist things. No, I'm not. Look at your country. Why is everything divided? Why is the waste was? What happened there, Quake? <laughs> Why has there been race riots in liberal woke California the last two, three times? Well, the last time was the whole country. But those the Watts riots and, uh, of course, um, Rodney King riots that I was alive for. That was crazy. That was crazy. I was like, oh, man, I wish I was older and smoked weed and had guns. You know? <laughs> we go rob some shit. It was scary, but you just was like, well, speaking to nobody's looking. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was crazy. I remember seeing the documentary and how they try to rob the gun store, but they were strapped up mm -hmm. and they got <laughs> crazy shootouts and it's all on camera. Now that's entertainment. People watch reality TV. That's fake. Go watch a riot shootout. Now we're cooking. <laughs> no, that's so dark. Okay, just joking. No, peace and love. Go do my ayahuasca. What happened there? What happened there? Go do mother ayahuasca. Heal your heart. Heal your trauma. Stop shooting people in the face. How about that? How about that, world? Hey, Russia, why don't you chill out, homeboy? I know we blew up your pipeline and we blamed you. <laughs> but I know we need to cool it, too. I hate that people are like, cool it, Russia, and we're totally doing the same thing. How about both sides? Cool it. You're about to start a nuclear war. <laughs> And all we want to do is fucking garden and get a little poontang. It's so crazy. I don't even want to talk about that. I watch too much YouTube. That motherfucker, Jake Tran, Chan, Jake Tran, his YouTube is so crazy. Because I, I don't, it, 
I don't understand geopolitics. Come on now. But Jake Tran does. Chan? What's his name? Oh, great. There's another one called Jake Tran Exposed. What? <laughs> What's what? What's what? He explains things in full detail. Um. Yeah, but it's fascinating. Most of it's true. It's got to be. I mean, like, these monsters at war. He... I mean, he literally does Russia versus, uh, you know, NATO or us, Ukraine, which is us. Wake up. Who's funding them? We said we weren't going to get any tanks, but enroll the tanks. <laughs> Both sides got nukes. And then there's rumors on the street that aliens are dismantling all the nukes because we're too stupid and we're going to kill each other. You hear that? That's great. I hope that's true. I hope true. that's true. That sounds great. Hey, aliens. Stop abducting people, but keep it up with the nukes. <laughs> keep dismantling them. These idiots over here in their little dick measuring contest. Y'all got small dicks. <laughs> How about that? How about them apples? Why don't you take that nuke and suck it, yo motherfuckers? <laughs> okay, too far. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Who would have thought you could make nuclear war so funny? <laughs> radiation am i right <laughs> okay too dark too dark all right better get your zinc i don't know i saw chernobyl once you take something you take something better get your spf on you see the white flash lay down <laughs> no 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what a mad world i think of that song by gary cooper wrong guy uh mad world well, who sings that? I got it on my pipeline here. What's that called? Quay? Q. Mad World by Gary Jules. Not Cooper. That's, That's an this, actor. The one from Donnie Darko? Yeah. 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 I was like, Gary Cooper's not in Donnie Darko. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where does the brain go? <laughs> I don't know. That's why acting's hard for me. I'm saying the third line first, and these motherfuckers looking at me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, come on, man. I'll get, ah, oh, ah, oh. notes. Stick to the notes. Was there a fly in here? That was something. I didn't see it. Or have I finally lost my mind? I get these little bug flies. Now there's nothing. I swear I saw something. Oh, and uh, I just did Lexington, Kentucky. That shit was fire. I sold two shows out, baby. Nice. Hot damn. Hot damn. And uh, I was uh, politicking, you know, shaking the hands, taking photos after the show. Not sniffing anybody's head, though. <laughs> you seen the tapes. Weird. Uh, but this one guy that had this beeping noise go off. It sounded like a pager. I was like, what is that, a pacemaker? He's like, oh, it's for my insulin. And he was old. And I went, oh, I feel real bad. I'm a piece <laughs> of shit. I'm so sorry. I gave him a big old hug. Put a, uh, you know, abba dabba down his mouth. Eat some sugar. <laughs> get, you, get you up. Get it back up, sir. I hope your dick works. He, had, he was on a date. You know, insulin. Get the sugar. <laughs> get the blood rushing. Too much, Greg. What are you doing? <laughs> you got to, you know. Okay, let me mark that off. Oh my God, I made it, I'm getting famous. I got recognized at the gun store in Hawthorne <laughs> by the gun guy. He's looking at my ID, I'm getting a shotgun, you know. <laughs> World War III starting, what are you doing? What do you put your zinc on, get your shotguns and seeds and water and pray, namaste, peace and love, but don't come for my canned goods. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you one, but that's it. You know, we got a big heart. And then the dude who's ringing me up for my shoddy, he recognized me. But then I don't have all the paperwork. The DOJ got real California. I thought it was a rifle. I thought you're supposed to give it to me right then and there. There's a 10-day wait period, and I need to pass another background check. I already did that. Why you got to go checking again? <laughs> and... uh and the DOJ, and now I gotta go get a real ID because your name has to match identical. So the, and the on my driver's license says P instead of Philip. Mm. Yeah, now that's bullshit. Because if I did everything, 
The P for Philip doesn't count. That's not you. It's like it's my ID. It's my face. My <laughs> thumb. Even if it was a real ID, I don't have the real ID. But you could bring in your birth certificate and passport. But all the names have to match up. And because the California driver license says P instead of Philip, they won't give me my shotgun. <laughs> So now I got to go to the DMV and do all that. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Some of you are like, oh, some of you are like, goddamn devils. I know guns are, wait till you need one. That's all I got to say. I see, if you live in Los Angeles, have you seen these streets? You better, you better protect yourself. I don't understand. In a perfect world, obviously, I would want no guns, no harm, no murder, nothing. Zero. Yes, I would love that. That is my intention. But look outside. Go out the window. Go to downtown LA. Tell me <laughs> you wouldn't mind a little pistol in your pocket. <laughs> Go down there. And uh, obviously, I wish everyone love, peace, and happiness, and food, and, you know, but these devils are running amok out there. And uh, so I got recognized by him. And then when I'm in Lexington, Kentucky, I'm across the street from a sporting goods court store. I believe it was called America. I don't remember. Shit. I just Googled it. But uh, hold on. Stand by. I must know these things. Academy America. Start. <laughs> I knew it was the A. Academy. I need to tune up on this whole brain over here. <laughs> you got any omega-3 fatty acids? <laughs> Got any walnuts, some dates, some majul dates? <laughs> you can use date sugar instead of granulated white sugar by C&H. They're murderous bastards. They killed the Hawaiians, Samoans, whatever. Big brown dudes. <laughs> 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 I already talked about that. Know your history. Um, they stole the island from the people. Corporation. And then America was like, let's keep it. And that's how it happened. Isn't that crazy? Back to the gun store. We're all over the place, can you tell? <laughs> so I was in Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky, and I was killing time because you have a lot of free time in the daytime, and I went to um, Academy Sporting Goods, and I went to the gun counter, and they have way more guns than allowed over here for no fucking reason. <laughs> California, get your shit together. Why don't you go have a war on the homelessness in downtown LA instead of me trying to get a shotgun to protect my family during World War III. Russia's coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. Peace and love. Garden. Namaste. And then I get recognized by the gun dude there. And he's like, and then he ended up coming to the show Saturday night. And that was fantastic. I got him in free. He told me a bunch. He told me which, which lever action. I like Western, so I want the lever one. <laughs> I'm and that's uh, it's called a Winchester, Winchester 1873, but uh, those are expensive. I'm trying to just get the basics. I'm trying to get a little Ruger 1022 hunting rifle for small game like rabbits, squirrels, and stuff. I don't really want to eat squirrels, but I don't know why I said that. But you know, and then a shotgun for home defense and hunting. And then uh, yeah, that's it. I'm not. I know it sounds crazy, but and only in California it does. Most everywhere. Everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> um, just the just the basic arsenal, you know. Not it's not even an arsenal. A, a twenty two to an area R fifteen is like a fucking BB gun, you know. <laughs> um, but I got recognized there and then I went back to Turner's and then when I'm waiting to with for a dude to, uh, to finish my paperwork, which I'm still not done yet, because there's a hiccup every time because of the DOJ putting in extra stipulations and uh the dude waiting for his gun recognized me and he's like oh i see your reels all the time his name was quinn and i told him to hit me up i'll get you in free if i can sometimes producers are a little funny you know they're like i want 20 bucks craig like, well, <laughs> he's my gun friend i met him at the gun store come on <laughs> he's my gun friend <laughs> so i got recognized every single time I went to the gun store. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, bro. <laughs> oh, and then I got recognized at Target, 
by this big giant man. I followed him on Instagram. He does like push ups. He's a personal trainer. And he hit me up to work out with him. But I'm a loyal guy. I got to go to H Bomb. He stomped my face. You know, <laughs> any friend of mine that stomps on my head, you have a loyal customer for life. <laughs> Sorry, big boy. But I followed him. He's funny as hell. He does the push ups and shit. And, uh, and he uh, runs into me at the booty wipes. Like, you can't even make this up. <laughs> I'm at the fucking booty wipes. And I'm buying cat food and booty wipes. This is what I have in my hand basket. And he's like, Craig? And I was like, oh, man, I'm getting booty wipes and cat food. You can't, this is embarrassing. But, of course, I just felt so hot because it's like, you know, I've been at this shit 10, 13 years in the game, 10 years at stand-up. And, uh, and I'm getting recognized finally for it. And then while Big Boy recognized me, this other guy came up. And he recognizes me. He's like, you Craig? And I was like, you guys know each other? And they're like, no. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? This is crazy. And I was just laughing because all I had was wet cat food and booty wipes. And they're like, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm hungry. And it's going to give me diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. Now we're cooking. <laughs> I like white fish with chicken recipe. <laughs> it goes good in the tooth hole on the side. Hi. <laughs> Still got it. They're like, you know, you have money to fix your tooth, Craig, but I'm buying guns. <laughs> what the fuck I need a tooth for when I'm eating canned goods? The Russians and the Chinese are here. <laughs> the spy balloons are coming. You know what's crazy? I don't trust any of this shit. They said they shot down two aliens, three aliens now, one during the Super Bowl. And everyone's like, ah, bullshit. You lied to us too many times. Nobody cares. Back, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's adding up to No, nobody truth. believes it, and everyone's like, y'all distracting us. Something's, I think it's the old nuclear war over there. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, look over here at the alien. Meanwhile, they're just, you know what's crazy? Obviously, I do believe uh, Putin and Russia are quite evil, but I uh, almost think that we are more evil because... When I watched these little YouTube videos, and then I Googled it, I didn't just blindly believe everything. Like, we blew up the gas pipeline. And logic, in a logical brain, whether, I don't know all the fucking facts. Look at me, people. I got a tooth hole on the side. I eat cat food and buy booty wipes. <laughs> but why would Russia blow up their own pipeline that cost them billions of dollars to make, 10 years plus, and they profit and make a ton of money off of it? Who's, who's doing that? Hey, you see these legs right here? Get rid of them. <laughs> no one's doing that. And then, uh, of course, as soon as that happened, we're like, hey, we got a pipeline. We just <laughs> built. <laughs> oh, we could ship it to you, but it's going to cost a little extra. You guys. Which technically is like illegal in the acts of war, which is so crazy to me. No, no, no. Just murder Henry with bullets. <laughs> you can't blow up pipelines. We got to make money, boys. This is insanity. This is all fucking insane. And then something else happened, I believe, during the Obama administration. And I did Google this because I didn't want to blindly say shit. Where they overthrew a democratically elected uh, official there and input Zelensky the comedian that sniffles a lot during the interviews. Watch those tapes. I know a coke kid when I see one. <laughs> you staying up all night fighting the war? I'd want to do cocaine too, I tell you what. The Russians are coming, they're crazy. They're gonna kill you. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just all war. It's all, it's all fake. I mean, it's not fake, it's uh, calculated by both sides. It's just, international elite oligarchs going to war and we're just watching the super bowl rihanna though you know <laughs> i mean she's pregnant now that's kind of weird but <laughs> i'll still marry you in that big forehead get over here girl <laughs> give me some money i need more guns <laughs> <laughs> oh man enough about war you know what's crazy though i think about it all the time Kudos to us and props to us, humanity, for just always, most all of us are all good, peaceful, civil people. We're human. We have a few demons, you know, as long as you're not out there killing and raping, and you're good in my book. And no stealing. I did a little of that back in my day. <laughs> um, 
you know, we're all human and we're nobody's perfect, but as long as you're not, you know, committing the major sins that obviously are unforgivable, um, and you should, you know, be sent to prison. But like, we're all just trying to be good people or no, we are good people. Fuck trying, you know, screw that word. We're just gardening and working and providing for our family and doing what's best while this crazy shit is going on. Like, you know what I mean? We're trying to heal. We're trying to win. We're trying to, all I want to do is garden on my days off, you know? (laughs) And these motherfuckers are trying to start the craziest shit known to man. And we're just like, no, let's, let's create art, go to space for real this time. (laughs) <laughs> you watch those old tapes that's that doesn't sound so crazy anymore i know when i talked about it because you're just like yeah they lied to us so many times and then that one footage i i said this before but i want to believe still that we went to the moon because i love space and all that jazz but that one shot where they uh where they show the the whatever the lunar spaceship fly from the moon to earth so they film the ship fly from the moon <laughs> to Earth, and it was like a TikTok. And somebody <laughs> yelled, yelled that, like they showed it, and then it just said, "Yo, who filmed that shot?" <laughs> Meaning they left a cameraman to die on the moon, because I don't think they had Wi-Fi back then. <laughs> and I just was like, "Oh yeah, who did film that shot?" And then your mind unplugs, and you're like, "It's all a lie." <laughs> These motherfuckers. Well, they did have broadcast television back then. But from the moon? Like, I guess I need to see the footage, but I It's I can... quite hilarious. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, right? no. Okay, I, I, I just want to make sure I articulate it correctly. There's a shot of the original lunar landing of the ship flying from the moon to Earth, and some TikToker went, who filmed the shot? And then I was like, oh, yeah. Not to mention NASA admitting that we lost the technology and it's a painful process to rebuild, to go do it again. That sounds like some malarkey in my book. (laughs) Heavens forbids. Oh, I don't know. (laughs) Oh, boo, boo. Boo, my cat had a stinky booty for my sister. She had shit kicked up on her ass and she kept trying to snuggle with my sister. My sister's like, get away (laughs) from me. And it's not her cat. So she doesn't exactly want to wipe Boo's asshole. Yeah. I don't blame her. I'm like, yeah, I, f- fair. <laughs> yeah. So there's skid marks all over my house now. <laughs> little little dookies. The smell goes away after a week. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm cleaning that up? Sadie left me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, Valentine's Day tomorrow. You got a hot date? You had a hot date? I had no date. I just had a date with my cats and a show. Now I got a date with a stripper. (laughs) Oh, 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 shit. (laughs) Dipping my dick in the devil's pond one more time, baby. No, no, I'm just kidding. (laughs) God is good. (laughs) What? Okay, keep it. No, I'm just joking. These are just jokes. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Oh, Delta. I finally had some beefs with Delta. I boarded the plane to Lexington and then I fell asleep because I'd be knocking out as soon as I get on planes. It's fantastic. I trained myself well. And then I woke up maybe an hour 15 after my little snooze and we were still parked. And I went, hey man, (laughs) I got shows, you know? (laughs) And then uh, I had a layover. There's no direct flights to Lexington and uh, I missed it. So I got in at nine and I missed the show. But the owner was so cool. He picked me up and he he checked too. I would have been honest though. I didn't miss my flight. None of that malarkey. I like that word. It said it twice this one. <laughs> Those hooligans gallivanting around with a bunch of malarkey. Back in my day, we called them pussy pie. I don't know why I said that. He's your pervert, Craig. Is it? Is it just me or do you love tits and ass? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I just try like just just read a book, Greg. Just go on a hike. <laughs> just do it. 
And then you're like, but look at all of them titties on the gram. Fat asses. <laughs> and then you heart a couple tattoo girl with big butts and your whole feed is all that. And I can't even go over there because I'll just be doing work. I'll be working too. I work on there. And then I just go, no, no. Ah, oh. you know, you go, ah. Oh. Big old booties. I didn't, said, women are so beautiful. And then, uh, oh, so Delta, I had to lay over in Atlanta, but Atlanta airport, they have three Delta Sky Lounges. And when you have time, you explore all three of them. <laughs> I hit them all up. My tummy hurt. I ate so much shit. Ugh. Oh, it's so good though, you know? <laughs> I was like, ooh, right, let me get some Pepsi. Let me get, that's my problem. I want to try everything. I want to try all the drugs. I did mostly. <laughs> uh, all the women, all the food. All the beverages. I just want to get, you know, <laughs> I just want to get fucked up. I just want to eat sugar and bear back some hoes. You know, I want, I, I want to, I want, I want to better myself too. You know, <laughs> I got so hard. It's so hard. It's a struggle. I want to, I want to find, I'm done. I'm done bear back and hoes. Maybe not done. Maybe, no, <laughs> but I want to find my soulmate and do a family and lead a good life, an honest life. But until then, you know. <laughs> oh man! Oh, I smoked weed again. Ah, it's so hard. So I already talked about smoking in Sacramento Avatar, right? Yeah. And then I slipped up again. These fans, they just give me. This lady gave me weed. And she said she hooks, she uh, supplies Wiz Khalifa with his Kush. <laughs> and I'm like, and then I smelt it, and it smelt like she wasn't lying. <laughs> and I was like, come on, OG Kush, it's my kryptonite. I'm, I'm a human being. But so I smoked then, and then I had this big audition that stressed me out, and I did all the work, and then after that. I kind of celebrate and I smoked again. This is why you can't let it slip in once. Because I had, well, I forgot, like 33, 36 days, yeah. no nada. Yeah. And then one little slip, and you're like, well, I already <laughs> slipped. Well, <I> slip. <laughs> yeah. And now I got like four or five slips. I'm losing track. Ugh. But it does sound like you're having a healthier relationship. It is with much it. healthier. It is just annoying that I said I want nothing. Yeah. Until I own my land, and then him and <laughs> by nothing. I just mean this six little slip ups. This six, just six. Come on, guy. I didn't mean it. Cause, uh, but regardless, okay. So it's February thirteenth. I smoked like five, four to six times. I gotta. I don't remember. I gotta write this <laughs> shit down. And uh, that's still a win. Back to that analogy. Don't be too hard on yourself. Not too much pressure. Because I was literally smoking 20 to 35 times a day or more. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you how many hit. If I had a pen, forget it. And the drinks wah, 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 and everything. Oh, and the drinks. Oh, my God. Edible. <laughs> you take, that, all of it. All of it. So regardless, that is still a substantial decrease. And then a fan made me feel bad about it, though, because he came up after, you still not smoking? I was like, oh, I slipped up. And at that time, I think it was just the once. And he got so sad and hurt. I'm like, oh. And I was like, hey, man, don't make me feel bad about it. I was I was fine. <laughs> Until I saw the look on your face. I was like, come on, dude. It's, that's all. It, it, and, and, like, I don't want to hear your opinions or thoughts anymore. I'm sick of it. Like, it's just weed, man. Keep smoking. Shut the fuck up. This is my journey. I'm speaking my piece, my shit, and uh, what I struggle with, and I like being honest with it, because what am I gonna sit here and fucking lie to you? You know, I know you. You know how hard this shit is. What's crazy? I feel like it was easier to quit narcotics and alcohol than weed, because I just love it so much. I love it. And it's hard when you start listing what are the real drawbacks it's not as much it's, it's not. basically my unhealthy abusive relationship with it i just hit it all day every day and and if i am when I, if when i am healed more and have i'm gonna do more mother ayahuasca and just purge these motherfucking demons clean this shit up strengthen my connection with spirit god universe whatever whatever you want to call it 
and uh uh because it can be healthy we do i am a hippie man we have indoy cannabinoids receptors in our brains and we're supposed to have this plant medicine marijuana cannabis sativa oh yeah <laughs> but we're not supposed to do it the way i do it <laughs> and we're not supposed to have fucking butane chemical uh uh, vapes if it's not made clean because there it can be done clean and you know i've said it before there's the tweaker in downtown la making it then there's hippies and humble that it's all pure and clean and namaste it's blessed they you know they <laughs> whistle in it give you a little happy thoughts and uh and i even seen this queen i follow a lot of hippie accounts i don't know which one this was but she was saying like yes i smoke weed I smoke my weed from my source and my connection. It's organic. It's sun and soil. I know where it came from. I'm not hitting that shit. What's in it? You know, who grew it? Is there petrochemical fertilizer? I ain't hitting Monsanto or DuPont, whoever's being sued for giving people cancer this week, and they're still selling it on the shit. I just found out that Whole Foods gets produce from China, and then it gets, fact check, I don't know the word, produce checked, uh, what's the quality uh, assurance or yeah, some yeah. shit by a company that they own and they pay you know what I yeah. mean you're just like oh my god not even Whole Foods produce you're paying an arm and a leg you can't even give us the rip off you know what I mean <laughs> you're killing us with these prices and you're still sneaking in Chinese produce not that there's anything wrong with Chinese people but let's be honest the products is a little you know there's lead in the in the toys sometimes. It's insane. It's insane. Oh, I took a lady's phone away at Magoobies in uh, Timonium, Maryland. Speaking of Timonium, Timonium di dioxide was in the Skittles, unfit for human consumption. I love Skittles. <laughs> and because uh, she was on her phone in the front row. And she took a picture with me of me, and that's not why I took it at all. I took it because after the photo, she kept texting and tweeting and all this shit, and kept like so much, so so much, so so much, so. <laughs> why I just went, excuse me, and I did it so like politely, like, oh, what's this? <laughs> and I just took it. I'm like, get off your phone. And then someone like I'm shaking hands after the show, selling merch and shit. They're like, was that part of your act? I'm like, why would that be part of my act? Let me stop my act. I did go on a little rant, but not mean. I'm learning lessons. I just said like, because I just took it and everyone looked at me like, what the fuck was that about? I'm mm -hmm. like, she's on her phone the whole time in the front row. And then she's like, I took a picture. And I'm like, yeah, but then you stayed on it for the next eight minutes. <laughs> she was the first, you understand? <laughs> she was closer than we are right now. Chris is about six feet away. She was like three feet away. She was the first seat on her phone. It's fucking rude, man. It is distracting and it takes me out of my act, my performance. It's like a wrench in the smokes. It's just, ugh, motherfuckers. And then I went on a baby rant on just like, get off your phone. I was like, I'm up here for 45 minutes to 55 minutes. I'm here once a year, two years actually. That was my second time in two years. 50 minutes once every two years. You can't. <laughs> And they, you know, also just go to the back. If you're that person, sit in the fucking back. If you're in the back, I will not notice. I will not take your phone away. You're three feet away, lady. And then you lie. How would you take it one photo? I saw you texting. I would never have taken away one photo. Get the fuck out of here. She kept looking to. I'm like, you're right there. Stop it. Stop it. It's just so distracting. I'm trying to give you these these hard written girdle fart jokes and you just <laughs> disrespect it. Oh, that was open. I went on a little rant because, uh, and I meant what I said. I was like, dude, like I said, be in the moment. That's all there is. That's all there ever is. It's just the moment right now. You get off your phone. Your phone is not reality. That is not real. This is real. And I was like, sorry, I just did mother ayahuasca, you know, <laughs> but it does. It teaches you how precious these moments are. No one has promised anything ever again. You get hit by a bus, yada, yada, so on and so forth. Load your shotgun wrong. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I never called uh, Delta 
because I said uh, on my stories, like I'm gonna call. Actually, I called twice, and they. I take that back. I called twice, but I didn't get through. So I still have to find out if they're gonna give me anything for missing my fucking show, because that was rude. Very rude. So that one, that note says Delta. We shall see. <laughs> oh, and then another unlucky thing is uh, the food and beverages. They got turbulence, right? Mm. Right before me. <laughs> oh, man. I wanted the ginger ale. Oh, that's... Took lady's phone away. Oh, so the homie Charles. I better get his name right. Hang on. Let me look it up. His last name. Um, This guy's awesome. So my buddy, uh, Charles Blizniuk. Blizniuk? I don't know. Really hard to say. Lots of, looks something looks ukrainian oh <laughs> just kidding <laughs> um this guy's awesome my homie ahmed weinberg recommended him and i hit him up this is how tough the comedy game is this is so funny so i hit him up like a month ago before the gigs and i was like hey i got these three one-nighters and i want to use you but there's a couple stipulations because i need a ride from uh point a to point b because otherwise i gotta rent a car and shit but I'll tip you out extra because rental cars are so expensive. And I was like, and you'll get paid by the club and then sell merch, you know, like, let's do it. And then he said, yeah. And then it turned out he didn't have a car because he's from Philly and New York and you don't need a car. And I forget that, you know, and I was like, oh, no. And so he had to do the zip car, you know, and uh, but I never been in no damn zip car. So how Zipcar works is you get this little credit card, zip card, credit card, and you put it on the windshield and it unlocks your car and locks your car. That's how it works. This and uh and so he kept just putting a card on the windshield. But I'm a mind your business kind of guy, you know. I was like, <laughs> all right, this guy's weird, you know, he keeps touching his wind maybe he has O C D. You know, like what's he doing? And then, like, by the third day of hanging out with this guy, which is awesome. I fucking love him. He's very funny. We'll provide a link. Check him out. He's hilarious and a nice, good human being, kind soul. And so, finally, by the third day, I was like, dude, why do you keep rubbing your windshield? You know? It's like, <laughs> I've seen him do it, like, 19 times by now. He's like, oh, no, this is Zipcar. I was like, oh, I thought you were some weird OCD autistic <laughs> guy or some shit. And he's, we were just laughing. <laughs> no, nah, he's a good kid. He needs to post more. He only has three posts. Charles, you better get to work, boy, because you funny. You funny, motherfucker. And, uh, yeah, that was... Oh, Chick-fil-A incident. <laughs> Not an incident. Because, uh... They, you know how they have the drive through and, the, and, the, and they take... They walk up to your car mm -hmm. but there's two lanes and there's one girl taking the orders that walks up to you but then up ahead there's two speakers like you always used to order you know mm -hmm. so she was busy with the car in that lane back there so i was like oh i'll just drive up to this speaker and order like we used to forever <laughs> and then i go out i'm just waiting and waiting and waiting i'm like hello hello and they won't do it through the speaker the way it used to be done. And then she walks from that line over to me up here. I was like, yeah, I'll take your order. I was like, oh, yeah, sorry. I, it's too late, late you know, logically thinking <laughs> these things used to work for the last 20 years or so. <laughs> I didn't know I had to go to the human. Even though I like the human being, I don't want your AI get out of here. <laughs> I got an analog Remington 1817 shotgun. It's 870. I said the wrong number. I'm not a gun guy. <laughs> I mean, I am now. I am now. But yeah, isn't that ridiculous? A little bit. No. I mean, I assume it speeds up how quickly people get their food if they can walk back further in the line. But yeah, no, I, I, I no, that's not ridiculous. I love the human aspect of it, where they can walk back t and and yeah. take everyone's order. But if there's one lady in two lanes, yeah, that's weird. Shouldn't one speaker work and one lady? <laughs> I'm just saying. That's from I was like I thought I I you know when you I wasn't a dick but I was just like oh my bad I didn't know you weren't allowed to <laughs> drive up to the speaker anymore. <laughs> oh Charles is so sweet. This is how nice a guy that guy is. I forgot about this. I yelled at him 
That's a weird sentence. This guy is so <laughs> sweet. Well, because I I had the last of the loosey goosey creature design, and he likes skateboarding, and and he's like, oh, this is cool. I want one, and he tried to pay me. I'm like, no, man, and I gave him one, and he was so sweet because I sold out a merch that he pulled it out to sell his merch that I gave him that he tried to buy. And I was like, no, man, I gave it to fucking you. Don't insult me, man. Take that shit. <laughs> and I took it away from a fan and like gave it to him. <laughs> and, and I was like, come on, you're making me look bad. But I, I <laughs> you know, it's a gift, bro. That was funny. That's all. Yeah, that guy's awesome. Good time. And it was so fun to be on the road. It so, it's so hard. You just, you just by yourself. You just alone. <laughs> He just alone walking to the Academy gun store. <laughs> what was that fool's name? I got it written down. That guy was cool. Don Thomas Tiller. I hope you wanted to be named because there you are. <laughs> that man gave me some extensive gun knowledge. God bless. Thanks, buddy. And he came to my show. I should have took you out for coffee. I was lonely. <laughs> just the road, man. It's just... I'm doing my dreams, I'm blessed, I'm grateful. It's a weird thing to do what you love, but it's also hard on you. It doesn't even make sense in my brain. I don't understand it. We were talking about this before the pod. I guess just because there's a lot of energy exchange, because I do give them my heart on stage. That's what I say to myself before. Give them your heart, give them your fart. Give them your heart, give them your fart. <laughs> both, I give them both. That's what I bring to the table. Give these little junkies your heart. These fools are crazy, too. My fans are crazy. This fool came out. He's like, hey, man, I respect your sober, but I was doing key bumps in the bathroom. Hey. <laughs> and I was like, I can tell. He fucking crazy bastard. <laughs> he was dope, though, man. These fools are funny as shit. <laughs> I was like, I get it, man. I fucking did that for 10 years. You don't, I understand. <laughs> I'm this close to joining you, Tiger. <laughs> you know, Armageddon's happening. I'm like, hey, let me get that cocaine. Nine and a half years is over. <laughs> <laughs> Just start playing that fucking, that, uh, what was that? That song that gives me hope. What is it? Second City? Not Second City. What's that thing? Stranger Things. Running Uphill. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Do, 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 do. I'm not a musician. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Nah, nah, nah. No, that song always gives me hope. Like, hold on when the guy's about to kill her. I'm about to do the line. Hold on. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, oh. Kate Bush. Running Uphill, right? Yep. That's what it's called. Oh, that's such a good song. Such a good song. Kate Bush. It's Bush League. Bush League. Get your Bush over here, Kate. Come on, Craig. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> this one just says, life is like hopping on lily pads. Over water and the unknown of security. Well, just, just there he goes another <laughs> lily pad. Is that happy or dark? You don't know. You know, we were just talking about right when I got fired and I was getting paid twenty bucks a spot, maybe three <laughs> times a week, sixty bucks a week, folks. I don't want to brag, and I was telling you sometimes it was thirty-five. <laughs> On the weekends, it was thirty-five. Then you could get some chickens. <laughs> Unbelievable. That one asshole said uh, a comment on Facebook. This guy says, you don't work. So what are you talking about? You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea, you motherfucker. Some days I do not work. But some days, like today, I'll work. I got up 6, 7 a.m. What the hell? 7 a.m. To study lines, work with an acting coach, do an audition, do this podcast, pick up merch, go do a show. It's like, fuck you, bro. Sometimes I work 12, 14, 16 hours a day. And also, too, it's weird work. It's just different. It's just different. Like, it's a saying, like, you don't you don't get paid, like, road work with stand-up or musicians. You don't get paid to play music or tell jokes. You get paid to travel. Like, that's the abusive part. You fucking tour 105 cities in two <laughs> years and tell me that's not work. It <laughs> fucked me up, bro. <laughs> you fracture a little bit. You sleeping on airport floor? I got the lounge now. They let this toothless hippie in the lounge, baby. I'll be farting on them rich motherfuckers. Give me that scone, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn into a monster. Where are my mad lines? <laughs> I have old English tea here. Earl Grey. 
Do you have any goat's milk? I don't do cow's milk. I don't know. What do rich people do? <laughs> I've been poor my whole fucking life. Fuck you, lily pads. I'm stable. Arr. Oh, this was a note with Charles. We had a lot of good comedic ideas. I wrote down all these markets. Have you been in all these markets? All these grocery store? What the fuck is that place? I said, uh, all these markets feels like the grocery store equivalent to a Burlington coat factory <laughs> or Ross. You know, like, I yeah. don't know. I don't know. Did somebody return these grapes? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Were all the cashiers sitting? Yeah, it's weird. Like, yeah. no one's, there's like one employee and it's a free for all. Feels like prison. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm shoplifting <laughs> when I'm paying for my food because that's what it feels like. Like, am I shoplifting right now? I paid with my Amex Platinum. Oh, lounge access. <laughs> lounge access, free global entry if I get approved. Come on. Come on, God. Let me pass my background check. I'm a changed man. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't even see the horses. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? The whole claim to fame is throwing firecrackers at police on horses, and I didn't even see them. <laughs> I didn't even see them. I was so shit-faced, I didn't see them. How fucked up you got to be on cocaine and whiskey where you don't see a battalion of sheriffs? <laughs> They're a little bit higher than people, you know. <laughs> like, oh, there you are. Unbelievable, Craig. I don't know if I'll do that one. It just says, fuck people who always play victim. But then I feel bad because obviously there's horrible atrocities that do happen and people are victims. But I, that's not what I'm talking about. It's like the poor me guy. This always like, you can't catch a break. You know, it's like, fuck off, bro. <laughs> Get to work. Pussy boy. <laughs> it's true, though. You see it. Just all the people that talk about being sick constantly are always sick constantly or or like it's it's just I get it because I'm at constant war with myself, but I keep that shit in like a man. <laughs> the war is in here. I don't let everyone know I'm a little pussy boy on the inside. <laughs> um, and those people never like take accountability for anything no. as they're, yeah. they're doing. It's always something. Yeah. I guess it annoys me because that's what I was, who I was for the first forever until I got sober and took accountability for my motherfucking actions. That's probably why. Yeah, usually shit that pisses you off is what you are or were, you know. Before I would be triggered and be like, no. And now I'm, now I'm like, that annoys me. I guess because that's the way I was. Oh, no, I had one and I lost it. What was it? Oh no, look at all these notes. I've probably said this before, but I travel a lot. No spraying perfume in public, you fucking assholes. Knock it off. It happens on the... I'm inhaling your bed, bath, and beyond endocrine disruptors now. <laughs> You're putting a little rose petal to yellow dye number five down my lungs. Because your pussy stank. <laughs> That's rude, but I'm angry, you know? It's, it's, it's men, too. It's mainly women. That public spraying. But there are people who just wear way too much. Cologne. Yeah. And usually Armenian. <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> or Mexican, my people. A little too much cool water cologne there, Juan. <laughs> um, there's a lot of... It's Italian, too, a little bit. Italian, Mexican, definitely Middle, maybe not all Middle, Middle Eastern, but definitely Armenian, Persian. It's usually paired with like a track suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a beamer. Yeah. Like a pimped out beamer. Yeah. I respect the fuck out of those people. They stick together and they always got all the businesses and they always got money. They always got gold and beamers and they could fix shit that no one else can, you know? <laughs> my friend, my friend, come on. I fucking love that shit, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me those magazines with higher capacity. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Satire. Just allegedly. Allegedly. 
And what's the next note? Did I ever tell this story when I worked with my daddy? My first job, I was like 15 years old and I had a full-time job. I was like the go-to boy at the machine shop where I, I worked at this place called, uh, uh, it was called Kiko Manufacturing and it was uh, aerospace uh uh, airplane parts manufacturing company. I didn't do that part. <laughs> I just swept, I cleaned the bathroom, swept up the metal. I, I would cut some metal, the chunks for them to then, actually I did work on the plane. <laughs> yeah. You know those planes that shot down the UFOs that we made? <laughs> that was me. But I was lazy because it, I, actually I wasn't even lazy. It was just a bit of a shock. You never work in your life. Besides hustling, selling hooker flyers when I was a nino, you know, and, and beers and sodas <laughs> and whatnot. Uh, so I'm like 14, 15 years old. I was a freshman, and now I'm working 40 hours a week. And, yeah, so I would just disappear and take naps behind the building in this little <laughs> ditch. I'd go sleep in the ditch and know, and where's Conan? And I'd come back like, hey, guys, what happened? Because yeah. fuck that. I mean, I worked a good six hours. That's enough. Pay me for eight. I'm napping. Half hour lunch. Get the fuck out of here. Give me an hour. Half. You did 40 hours a week with school? Oh, no. That was summer job. Summer oh, okay. job. Right. Sorry. I forgot that. It was a summer job. It was only during the summer. And it sucked because all my friends, but I'll never forget that because I always valued money and I always knew you had to work for that shit because they were going to the beach and having fun and playing with their tallywhack. I was too in the ditch in my nap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop it, Craig. And, uh, but, you know, when all was done, I had thousands of dollars. And then I bought, like, I was then a, a drug dealer, you know. I bought a quarter pound of marijuana. And I, I think that job set me up to not have a job for, like, three years. Because I was always a hustler. I was an entrepreneur with mainly illegal stuff. <laughs> but come on now. Who wrote those laws? Some hypocrite some pussy boy that's sad you know oh don't let him have weed <laughs> okay <laughs> and uh yeah because I, I would just make money and then buy drugs and then do them and sell them and then f that was the cycle synergy i'm all about synergy and it kept me afloat and i always had movie money and you know go on dates you want some sweet tarts <laughs> you want some popcorn my money I don't get it from my mama. Mama would hook me up. My dad wouldn't. He he would hook me up with the job to get the money. I respect that about my father. He did as crazy as he was, and I know I would see, you know, we'd hang out at illegal gambling halls with slot machines that actually paid out coins in Southern California. You know, that is illegal, guys. <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to go play slot machines at Ray's Body Shop in fucking Carson, California, <laughs> off Vermont or Figueroa, wherever it was. It was in the hood. We just I'd go play with metal filings and gamble a little bit. I was seven. <laughs> I was seven years old. But we got to keep the money because, you know, it, you can't be like, let me check your ID. You know, <laughs> let me check the gambling fucking hall. What is it called? Whatever. What was I talking about? Oh, no, I lost it. Uh, respect for your dad's. Oh, he always made me earn money. I would have to recycle his beer cans or pick up uh, weeds out the grass, garden. I wonder I love gardening. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it, was so, it was slave labor, bro. Fill up a bucket of weeds. No dirt. He'd check. You fill it with dirt, you know, some fluff. <laughs> Five bucks, whole bucket. It took me eight hours. It took the whole day. It took, what is that? That's not good. <laughs> he had to put nets around the house so I wouldn't jump off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the darkest suicide joke I've ever said. Hey, I ain't doing it. Talk to Apple. I know, I know. You can't win. Poison, poison, poison. Slave labor, slave labor. It's fucked. Oh, anyways, don't go there, Craig. Oh, I used to actually jump off the roof. I told you this, but my dad had a boat. Always a ghetto boat, though. Like one time the propeller fell off and we had to <laughs> land on Terminal Island. He threw me out of the boat. Not in like a kind way, you know. 
and I had to swim to a prison island. Me and my sister swam <laughs> to an island with prison because my dad was just floating out to sea. So he threw his kids off the boat. He said, go that way. He said, I got to fix this boat. And we're just on an island. We're on the terminal island. It's this, it's this prison in Long Beach. It's a prison island. <laughs> There's nothing there besides three kids at that time. And we saw him playing baseball. <laughs> and we're just like, dang, this is weird. You know, there's prisoners and they're looking like, why are these kids swimming ashore? We had life fest though. He's a you know, he cares. And uh yeah, that was wild. The propeller fell off and then he floated out to sea and the Coast Guard had to come and tow us in and pick us up. And there was no cell phones back then, so we were supposed to be at like a family dinner and none of us showed up. I mean they're all worried because we went out <laughs> to sea and then we didn't show up. But we showed up later, like midnight or some shit. Can we can we pause for a second? I think I might shit my pants. Oh yeah, go poo poo, bro. Go poo poo. I don't know where it came from, but it. I know. Creeped up on you, me. little diarrhea boy. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. You ruined the show, Chris. <laughs> you ruined the show. We can hear you shit on the microphone. This is an old bubble guts over there. I could keep talking to no one. No, I can't. Chris, come back. It's weird talking to these AI cameras by myself, Christopher. No, just my daddy, man. He's a wild man, but he taught me, like, respect. What's weird about him, even though he didn't respect all laws, he also respects law and order, which I do, too, because that was a cop at my show. I was like, hey, man, I know I threw firecrackers at y'all people, but I still respect, like, no murder. It's civil streets. I love Wyatt Earp. Now you got to make, and you're making me have to go caca. It's like when girls sync up on their periods, you know. Now I got to poop too. Now I got to poo poo. What is that called when women sync periods? Poopa loops? That's what we'll call our thing, Chris. We're the poopa loop brothers. He's still giggling in there. Can you hear him? He's like, I'm trying to poop. Stop talking to me. You left me, Chris. Just like my father did. Oh, he's down the street. And don't, don't be. Which one? Let's get some bubbly water. Do 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 Have you ever had somebody hum the Jeopardy beat while you poop? Do 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 Wrong Your turd is not solid Diarrhea is incorrect We were looking for solid poop fecal matter Okay, I'm sorry, guys. He left me alone. That's all I got is poop and dick jokes. And a message of positivity, love, and sobriety, and unity. We're all one. We're all one. But also defend your family. And respect law and order, but also fuck the police. I'm a complex guy, I know. But you know what I mean. Fuck the dirty cops that are bastards and shoot unarmed people. And obviously, I love the cops that are stopping real crime and doing the Lord's work. Because there's both. Let's be honest here. Sorry. Okay, poopy boy. <laughs> it's okay, man. When you got to go, you got to go. I learned that from Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park when I was a little kid. The guy got ate by a dinosaur and he had to poop. <laughs> it's a tough break, man. That's a tough poop. <laughs> you know? Ah! <laughs> uh, we'll leave most of it because that was yeah, some good yeah. banter, yeah. but that was obviously a little moment of silence. Um,. I finished the train of thoughts on my father. I just uh, obviously love my dad, even though he was quite crazy, because he did teach me like about respect to a certain degree, like don't spit in front of a lady, and or you know be a gentleman, spit in the bushes if you got to. You know you gotta hock some loogies sometimes, but not you know as people are just rude. They spit on the fucking sidewalk. Just go spit in the bush. How hard is that? And pick up trash, return your cart, shit like that. Don't steal. He never would steal. and uh, But then if it was like illegally gambling halls and strippers, and be like, hey, come on down. You know? And I was like, all right, party. But uh, I like that, you know. You got to have a little spunk. But as well as I said it when you're pooping, like it's, it's, a, it's a weird thing to, like sometimes I'm like, fuck the police and I mean it. But also, yes, law and order, please. 
chaos is bad. Very bad. <laughs> Have you seen Batman? Gotham City? Because that's what downtown Los Angeles is right there. Oh, this thought's almost sad because it's over with. I said, I, I did I do these? Some of these might be old. Heckler in the Rainbow Room? I did that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm no longer afraid to be alone with my thoughts and by myself. I think I finally love myself. I can't wait to develop this more. Did I do that one? Yep. You know what's sad about that one? Is the ayahuasca wore off. <laughs> and now I don't want to be alone again. And I'm like, oh, it lasts for about two weeks, maybe three. Where you're like, I'm pure. Fish only. No bacon. <laughs> and then you're like, give me a double bacon tyria cheeseburger. Tomorrow I'm having pastrami. Now let's go to the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's all work. It's all work. A fan wrote in and said uh, they're, when their kids or cousins shit their pants and said they're only farting pieces. I did that one. Okay. No, Damn. no, that one you didn't. Sorry. I didn't. That's funny, though. Yeah. Imagine that. They said they're little <laughs> kids. And she's like, no. They said, you pooped your pants. And she said, they're like, no, no, no. I just farted pieces. <laughs> but was serious. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's great. I talk about bush blowjobs and the guys sucking each other off on mm -hmm. the stairwell. Okay. I turned that into a bit on stage in Lexington. <laughs> Did I talk about Gustav the crocodile that ate 300 m people on the Nile River in India? No. He needs a better name than Gustav. <laughs> Gustav, the killer of 300 <laughs> humans, and they can't catch him, and they know it's him because they've tried, and he has like scars on him, like bullet holes and spears. <laughs> Gustav. <laughs> Come up with a better name of a mass murderer. Should have called him Hitler Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> Gustav, get the fuck out of here. Did I ever tell you the time where I had, I had some of these clubs I do, you know, not comedy off Broadway. That was amazing. I don't want you to even remotely think I was talking about that. That is a great club and I had a great time and they treated me extremely well. And put me up at a nice ass hotel, fucking sweet. It was awesome. Two bedroom, two bedroom hotel. <laughs> and uh, but this other club I did uh, about a year ago, year and a half ago, it was like, I don't know where it is now. It was a pop up club. Anyways, it was in the ballroom at a hotel. I told this one right. I don't know if I told it well. It was at a ballroom of a hotel. So I go in. Where I get picked up at a hotel <laughs> and driven to another hotel, a nicer one, and then do the banquet ballroom. Small, too. Small, like corporate, like 50, 100 people max. And in my head, I'm like, you couldn't put me up at the hotel that it is in. You put me up at the cheaper, shittier hotel down the way, about 15 minutes away. You couldn't put me up at the Hyatt Place. It wasn't even the big Hyatt. It was like the little subsidiary. I'm just like, oh my God. I don't want to brag, but you ever you ever headline a, a corporate office? Ballroom, little fucking banquet hall? That was a trip. And then get put up at the Days Inn down the way? <laughs> she many crickets. Hey, so I was at family dinner, and uh, we we're talking about uh, queefs. P pussy farts you know <laughs> yeah. and then uh but we said queefs me and my sisters and my cousins and then my auntie was like what's a queef and we're like oh it's a pussy fart you know you fart out your pussy <laughs> and uh she goes that's not a queef we call them bubblers back in my day <laughs> and then we're like oh my god bubblers <laughs> that's so funny because like what if she hears her son be like trying to smoke out of a bubbler let me hit the bubbler. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop sucking on those pussy farts in there. <laughs> <laughs> bubbler. That's so funny. Oh, that's a sad note. The annoying part of addiction is it's never enough. <laughs> it's every day. I'm going to beat this shit. I heard there's this thing called Ibogaine or something that resets your neurons and they give it to heroin addicts that have been slamming dope for 20 years and can't get off. Is that what it's called? Yes, uh, that one I've heard. I think that's the one that's like pretty rough. Like, yeah, like guaranteed to have like a bad time. But yeah, you come out the other side. Clean. Yeah, you got to go out of the country for that one. 
It's oh. good for like cigarette smokers, things like that. It gets rid it's of. good for things that people just cannot quit. Yeah. It's a reset. It's like deleting your iPhone and restarting with a new Apple ID. But in your neurons, <laughs> I got to dumb it down for the people, meaning me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Maybe I'll do that one. I'm just so sick of just addiction, dog. I was good for like two, three weeks. Looks like I got to do ayahuasca every month. <laughs> and then you're just addicted to that. But that's at least a plant medicine. Okay, we'll finish these notes and then we'll thank the people. I don't know if I want to do this. Mark the time. I, I've been, I'm a human being, you know. I've been trying not to date and have sex and, and not watch porn. And you try doing that shit. So I'm a, I'm a human, you know. I slept with this girl and she had her clip pierced. And you think that's like hot and cool, which it is to look at, but then you have sex and then the piercing just scratches your pubes. Ah. Yeah. And I was like, hey man, your pussy piercing's hurting me. <laughs> and then I, I, uh, I'm not, like she said this, like she said, oh, I wanted to get something pierced. And so I just did that. And I'm like, you just did that? <laughs> like that like a throwaway, you know? I'm like, what don't you do with your nose? And she said, Oh no, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> your pussy has a new hole in it. And the nose is too much. I swear to God, I put that on my life. I was like, Oh, you can't even make this shit up, man. The nose is too much. You put a ring through your clit. Ouchie. It hurt me. Now I have a little cross scratched above my dick. <laughs> Spit of the Santo Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Did I tell the story where I farted in the car and it was real stinky and the valet got in and he had hit him in the face? <laughs> no. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> so at the comedy store, I park at Pink Dot and it's a self-parking lot. So no one ever gets in your car. But this time it was over full, you know, and and he had to take my keys and I was had those hot sulfur egg farts was during that time. And I laid one. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, dude. And I know him. I parked there a lot. <laughs> and then he gets in. I just see his face, like, turn. Like, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it ended up being the first thing I said on stage that night, too. <laughs> and the homie Jess was there from Chatty Brats, Broad Squad for Life. And I just opened up with that. I was like, yeah, I farted in my car and the poor valet guy just hit him. But it's not my fault. Like, normally it's self park. This poor guy. Those rotten eggs. I was eating a lot of eggs. Was that when I was cleaning up for ayahuasca? I think it might have been. I don't know. Or after? Either way, stinky. It's stinky. <laughs> that one says, I came in my own eye on accident. <laughs> to boot. <laughs> to boot. <laughs> why did I write to boot? I know why I said I came in my own accident. Are these voice recorded? No, I have some crazy voice notes, though. <laughs> I'm too scared to even play them. This is just written notes. But you typed it out yourself? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, I typed, yeah. No, I said to boot. <laughs> I don't know why I said to boot, but I said to boot. I don't like talking about sex, but it happens, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the girl was going down on me, and she, she let go and pointed at my face, you know, and then I shot in my eye, <laughs> and I was like, "Hey, man, <laughs> thank you, but ow!" <laughs> it wasn't even me by myself. Oh, I got bamboozled. <laughs> See, can you talk about this stuff? It's so, it ha it's interesting though. Like I came in my own. Yeah, eye. that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not on purpose. She didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. But it happened. <laughs> to boot. To boot. The fuck is to boot? Oh, take a shit on mushrooms. Did that one. I got no STDs right now. God is good. That's a note. <laughs> That's a note. Did you get checked or you just... I just know. <laughs> you just know. I just know. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know I didn't get checked? I just it <laughs> didn't seem like something you would do. <laughs> I'm on God's time. What are you going to do? 
what are you going to do? Are you not going to live your life, Chris? I'm not that type of fella. I go in the ocean. I eat grass-fed butter. That's enough. Come on, man. Let me get away with something. I've been doing good. I've been inspiring people to get sober and relapse just a little bit. <laughs> Oh, no. Life's so hard. It's easy. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. It's whatever you say it is. So stop saying it's hard, Craig. It's so easy. I, I got no STDs. <laughs> you speak it into existence. I am clean. My weenie is clean. Huh. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to get tested soon. It's all about intention. I'm going <laughs> to intend. You got to live life with intention. I saw it on the TikTok once, you know, execute intention. I intend to get <laughs> checked out. I'm going to get my Willy Wacker checked. So what? I've been spray pissing again. <laughs> Big whoop. Big whoop. I've done it before. I'll do it again. <laughs> so what? I've had my dick drilled by the dick doctor three times. Maybe four. I don't know. I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll be good, God. I'm sorry. I don't need that again. So what? I got to dilate my urethra once or <laughs> twice a year for medical purposes. Three to four for fun. For fun. I'm fucked up. Sometimes you finger your tooth hole just to feel. I don't... Mm. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. But I'd like to thank the fans. Dude, the homie Brian Betts came out to the show. Y'all been showing the fuck up. I sold out Oxford and uh, Pottstown, Pennsylvania. I sold out two of the four in Lexington. And then uh, Magoobies in Timonium. That's a real name. <laughs> it's a great club, but it has by far the funniest name <laughs> I've ever. Magoobies. And uh, I didn't sell that out, but it was damn near sold out. And it was a Sunday. A Sunday, you know, come on now. That shit was packed. That shit was awesome. And this fool Brian Betts wrote me this little card, this sweet message. And, and he gave me, because he uh, listened to the ayahuasca episode and how I didn't have anything white. So he gave me this Frodo Baggins shirt. <laughs> and I tried it on and I was going to wear it on the pod, but I just looked like a big nipple lesbian. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just going to hold it up. You know, I can't. I can't be, you know, I still like. I gotta look like a man. I've been bareback in clip piercings. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, Craig. I was just joking. I didn't mean it. It's all satire. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. It smells good, too. Brian, you little sweetheart. But I will wear this at my ayahuasca trip and uh, around the house. Just not in public, you know? It looks real weird. I mean, I love Frodo Baggins from the Shire, but I ain't trying to look like him, you know? <laughs> and also... Somebody messaged me on YouTube, and I am so sorry. You didn't get your stickers, but that is not my fault. You didn't enter your address correctly, and it came back to me, and I need to reship it out. And that happened with two stickers that are in my hand. I was going to flip it around, but it happened to Jake Robinson and Timothy Cronin, and they keep coming back, return to address, return to sender, insufficient address, unable to forward. One just said, return to sender, no mail recipient, like, at all. So y'all motherfuckers need to enter your address correctly, okay? Because this ain't on me. I know you didn't get your stickers, but I didn't fill out your address, homie. And it happened to two hoodies in the in the, the wrappers in the trash can. Will you pass me those? And, uh, sorry, boss, I should have had those over here. So I got to reship this shit out, and I'm just publicly apologizing. I hope you see it. <laughs> they put the sticker over the fucking address. This is bullshit. I got to figure this shit out. And y'all need to enter your hoodies correctly because I don't even profit that much. And shipping's like 10 to $13. So to reship the hoodies, these I could eat. Shipping on these is cheap as hell. I can, I'm not eating the cost of the shipping on those hoodies. It's like 13 fucking dollars now. I make 15 What do you want me to make? $2 a hoodie? <laughs> The profit margin ain't that steep. I ain't Walmart. There's no slave labor. I am the slave. It's me. It's a me. A Craig. <laughs> that was stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, And we'll end with something not perverted. And uh, 
I've told this story before, but I haven't told it in a long time, and we have now upgraded editing skills for my machine, my spinal cord. Chris is my spinal cord. Um, this is a story about when I sold my 1988 Toyota Tercel to uh, one of my family friends. He's basically a cousin. It's like my cousin's cousin, and we grew up with their family. You know those families you just grow up with, and they're family, but they're not family? It was that. So uh, this fool, and he's a knucklehead, and he parties. I don't know if he wants me to name him, so we'll name him anonymous, leave him anonymous. But he's not... He's not a he's like gangster adjacent, you know. I don't know if he is about that life, but he likes to party and you know, he grew up in Carson and shit and, and uh, T Flats area. And so he's a knucklehead, I'm a knucklehead. And I sold to him my nineteen eighty eight Toyota Tercel for three hundred dollars. But I told him like, Hey, you gotta do this, this and this, or it'll break down and then you can't start it again and it needs this this it's three hundred dollars with no back seat and had sheepskin uh, front seat covers. When it rained, water would leak in and smelt like wet dog. And it was a nice car. That thing was like a go car. It would go anywhere. We get it to like a hundred on the freeway. It'd be all shaking. We're like it's gonna fall apart. <laughs> living, man, living. And uh, so I sold it to him. And of course, he didn't listen to me, and it broke down just like three houses down. And he came back, and he calls me Lonnie Burger, and uh, he goes, Lonnie Burger, I want my money back. And I'm like, nah, man, <laughs> all sales are final, bro. You just need to jump start it and we'll get it going. And then he ended up getting into some trouble and he got locked up. So it just sat on the street for like too long and then got reported and then towed away. But then the uh, we put the car in his grandfather's name because he had warrants or something. You know, he, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it was basically like a burner car, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, so he put it in his grandpa's name. So the liability went to him. But then he passed. So everyone got away scot-free. <laughs> you know, I got my money. But I guess that's dark. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest his soul. You know, he went He went the distance. He lived the life. And I think that's all my notes. Man, that's so funny. He sold. He broke down <laughs> three, four houses down, bro. <laughs> it just would drive by. Ah, the car's still there. I got my money. No refunds. I spent it. He's like, it's been four minutes. I spent it. <laughs> my Coke dealer went poof. They're fast. <laughs> poof, poof. Um, is that picture down there or something? Do we? Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, uh, sweet. A fan gave me this, too. That's just cute. <laughs> Fans been making me art. Uh, Lucy Goosey art. I believe by Glitch Pudding. It's hanging out in my living room. Oh, man, I love that shit. It's so fucking cool. I love all of y'all. Y'all been showing up. We've been, you know, just trying to better ourselves. We're all we're all little nuts, you know. We're trying our best here. So what? I got a cross branded in my crotch now, you know. <laughs> we're doing our best over here. I only smoke five times. <laughs> I opened the door. What's that called? Pandora's Gate? It's box. open. Why is it a box, Chris? <laughs> what does it matter? <laughs> you shut the hell up. <laughs> I pay you to agree with me. No, please correct me. Always. I don't want no yes, man. I don't want none of that. I'd be like, Craig, you're losing your mind again. <laughs> oh, shit. I am. I am. My bad. I'm going to go do mother ayahuasca. Um, you know, no bacon. It's so good. I don't get diarrhea from it anymore. You power through. You power through. I knew that was a fly in here. There it is. I'm not crazy. You saw it that time, right? Yeah. Thank God. Well, that's... that's that. How long we've been doing? Uh, an hour and 20 minutes, probably. Oh, wow. I don't have any shit. Did I shit myself? I almost did. You almost <laughs> shit on the pod. There you go. Do it, do it, do it. Dude, what is 220 it? and I finally had to shit. Nice. Um I uh yeah, that's it. I got no more notes. I love you all. You're showing up to my shows. If you order merch, uh it's just me over here. It's it's all me. It's me and him. Sorry, but he doesn't do merch. So I gotta fulfill some orders, and I got I gotta order the hoodies first. So it's gonna be a little while. 
No, I'm kidding. I have something that's slightly different. Boo. He's tearing the couch up. Um, so I'll message you. I got three new orders. I need to message them and be like, hey, I have this instead of that. To those four poor souls, y'all in your address wrong. I need to figure that the fuck out. My bad. And also, you're bad. The stickers, I'll, I'll get it to you. Well, one of them. Anyways, I just love you all. You're showing up to shows and, and buying my hoodies and I'm getting... I got my cat food. I got my booty wipes. <laughs> God is good. We're staying positive, even though the world's crazy over there. We're waking up. Hopefully, all of us wake up and just go. Like, I know I say all this crazy shit about guns. It's mainly out of fear. I would love for all of us to just unite and go there and be like, hey, stop the fucking wars. We're done. We don't want anyone to die anymore. All that happens is civilians and soldiers die, which is predominantly poor people, and fucking politicians, oligarchs, whatever, top gets filthy, stinking rich, and more power every time, every time, every time. That ain't no conspiracy. That's every single time. So we need to knock off those knuckleheads. That way we could just, you know, date strippers and garden. <laughs> no, I'm, you know, I just, I don't know. But uh, so, yeah, just peace and love always. That is the message and bettering yourself and, and getting off whatever drug you're on. And, you know, life's hard. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm basically speaking to myself as I say that shit. And, you know, if you're doing better than you were, then you're winning. That's it, man. Don't be too hard on yourself uh, and, and, and compare. Comparison is the first joy killer. You just go, oh, I'm winning. And then you look over there and you're like, oh, man, I'm not winning. <laughs> <laughs> and just, yeah, just keep your head, just keep your head up like the great Tupac said. Um, smile through the bullshit, baby. Smile. <laughs> smile out <all> big. <laughs> and that's it. I love you all. Thank you. I appreciate you. And be kind and, and all that good jazz. And my cat smells like shit, and she's putting skid marks on my lap right now. <laughs> so there's your poop story. I love you all. Namaste. Keep your head up.